Hello future doctors welcome to dipenism i am dr dipen shah and aaj ke lecture mein hum log discuss karne wale a very important structure and that is the structure of nephron nephron is also known as the uriniferous tubules kyunki yahi pe the major function of urine formation is going to occur and hence nephron is considered as the structural and functional unit of kidney and each kidney has around presence of 1 to 1.2 million nephrons to ye one of the busiest organ in kidneys jisme nephrons are continuously performing the function of urine formation now the length of nephron is around 3 cm and the diameter of nephron is around 20 to 60 microns so 3 cm is the length and diameter is around 20 to 60 microns when you observe the structure of nephron the structure mainly consists of two parts jisme se one part we call it as the malphigian body so one part is the malphigian body and the second part of the nephron is known as the renal tubules so these are the two major parts of the nephron now let us discuss ke individual structures kisse bane hue hain now when we describe about the malphigian body then the malphigian body is made up of two major components jisme se one component is this network of capillaries this network of or tuft of capillaries we call it as the glomerulus these are the glomerular capillaries which are present and the cup shaped structure which is present this cup shaped structure is known as the bowman's capsule so bowman's capsule and glomerulus together forms the first part that is the malphigian body now glomerulus ye jo network of capillaries hai it is actually formed by the branching network of this arteriole so this arteriole branches to form numerous glomerulus and this arteriole which is entering is known as the afferent arteriole so afferent arteriole is entering into the bowman's capsule and the arteriole which is exiting so glomerulus capillaries are going to unite and they exit as the efferent arteriole now future doctors notice the difference of diameter afferent arteriole jo hai it is much wider in diameter as compared to the efferent arteriole which is very much narrower and hence jab bhi blood enter hoga it will enter under very high pressure but when it exits it is going to exit under low pressure so basically yahan pe glomerulus mein there will be a pressure generated in the blood and that is going to be known as the glomerular hydrostatic pressure aur ye pressure is going to be responsible for the first step of urine formation and that is about the ultra filtration now this कप शेप स्ट्रक्चर जिसको हम लोग जिसको हम लोग ने बॉमन्स कैप्सूल बोला है दिस बॉमन्स कैप्सूल मेनली कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू वॉल्स वन इज द आउटर वॉल एंड अंदर इज द इनर वॉल जो आउटर वॉल है दिस आउटर वॉल ऑफ बॉमन्स कैप्सूल इज नोन एज द पराइटल लेयर वेर एस द इनर वॉल ऑफ द बॉमन्स कैप्सूल इज नोन एज द विसरल लेयर विसरा मीन्स इंटरनल द पराइटल लेयर is consisting of the flat cells which are the squamous epithelium cells but most importantly the inner visceral layer consists of specialized squamous epithelial cells or a specialized squamous epithelial cells ko we call them as the podocytes so podocytes are the very important cells which are lining the inner visceral layer isko podocytes iske liye bolte hain kyunki is पोडोसाइट सेल्स में देर आर दिस एक्सटेंशन ऑफ फुट लाइक प्रोसेस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फुट लाइक प्रोसेस हम लोग इसको बोलते हैं पोडोसाइट्स ऑल्सो दीज पोडोसाइट्स हैज प्रेजेंस ऑफ दीज ओपनिंग्स दीज ओपनिंग्स आर नोन एज द फिल्ट्रेशन स्लिट्स और दे आर नोन एज द फिल्ट्रेशन पोर्स जिसके थ्रू ब्लड फिल्टर होके कलेक्ट होगा इन द बॉमन्स कैप्सूल एंड दिस स्पेस 
between the outer parietal layer and inner visceral layer is known as the capsular space or the urinary space where the filtrate collect hoga. so that is going to be passing through the filtration slits now this entire structure of glomerulus and Bowman's capsule we have called it as malphigian body or it is known as the renal corpuscle now Bowman's capsule is considered as the proximal and blind end of the nephron because here there is no opening filtration say blood here collect hoga. and this end when it opens this part is considered as the neck of the nephron followed by renal tubules may this first part is known as the PCT so first part of the renal tubules is PCT which means it is the proximal convoluted tubule so first part after the Bowman's capsule the neck is the PCT proximal convoluted tubule this proximal convoluted tubule then goes downwards takes a turn comes upward so this entire structure is known as the loop of Henle so renal tubules may after PCT there is a loop of Henle is loop of Henle may this part this entire segment is known as the descending limb of loop of Henle this segment is known as the ascending limb of loop of Henle ascending limb of loop of Henle then enters into another convoluted structure which is known as the DCT DCT means distal convoluted tubule so just like there is proximal proximal means nearby pass wala, and distal means dur wala. so this structure is the DCT now DCT of many nephrons are going to get collected into this structure which is known as the collecting ducts so collecting ducts is formed by the union of DCT of various nephron and that forms the collecting ducts now let us discuss the individual parts of the renal tubules so first part PCT PCT ke cells ka khas baat ye hai ke iske jo epithelium hai these epithelium are the cuboidal epithelial cells plus is cuboidal epithelium mein there is presence of many microvilli and this microvilli wale cuboidal epithelium ko we call it as brush bordered epithelium और ये ब्रश बॉर्डर जो है वो सरफेस एरिया इंक्रीज कर देता है टू अराउंड 20 टाइम्स एंड हिंस पीसीटी में मेजॉरिटी ऑफ यूजफुल सब्सटेंसेस का रीअब्सॉर्प्शन होगा एंड उस स्टेप को हम लोग बोलेंगे सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन आल्सो पीसीटी के ब्रश बॉर्डर्ड क्यूबोइडल एपिथेलियम का और एक यूनिक फीचर है दैट ऑन इट्स बेसल सरफेस एंड द लैटरल सरफेस इट कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ मेनी पावर हाउसेस that is the mitochondria and because of the presence of many mitochondria ye energy generate karega and that is going to help in the process of active transport that means energy expenditure ke liye PCT ke brush bordered epithelium cells ke paas mitochondria ka presence hai. so this is one of the major modification of this cuboidal epithelium now after PCT the next part is the descending limb of loop of Henle now if you observe descending limb uska upper segment is thick walled but it's a very minor segment but major jo lower segment hai that is thin walled so descending limb is specifically thin walled and that is why it is permeable to water so this part of descending limb is permeable to water but it is impermeable to salts so salts ko ye pass hone nahi dega but water ko pass hone dega and it can be reabsorbed when we observe the ascending limb of loop of Henle then ascending limb ka major part mene represent kiya hai thick walled so remember that ascending limb is specifically a thick walled structure and since this is thick walled this part is impermeable to water yaha pe it is not going to allow the water molecule to pass instead this part is permeable to salts so ye jo difference hai ye aap log ko appreciate karna hai ki descending limb is permeable to water but ascending is impermeable to water descending is impermeable to salts whereas ascending limb is permeable to salts now ascending limb then continues into the next structure that is the dct 
डिस्टल कन्वर्टेड ट्यूब्यूल के जो सेल्स है इवन दे कंटेन दी क्यूबॉइडल एपिथीलियम ओनली बट दिस क्यूबॉइडल एपिथीलियल सेल्स ऑफ द डीसीटी दे हैव नो माइक्रोवेलाय That means brush border is absent in the DCT cells, but along with cuboidal epithelium, they also have presence of mitochondria. Mitochondria का quantity is comparatively less as compared to the PCT cuboidal epithelial cells, but फिर भी mitochondria का presence है. That means DCT में भी active transport का process होगा. Finally, is the collecting ducts, and this collecting ducts are going to open into the renal pyramids and they are going to form the duct of belinae so many collecting ducts form duct of belinae and duct of belinae finally opens into minor and major calyx and ye minor and major calyx will pass and open into the renal pelvis which is the funnel shaped region of the kidney so this entirely we have discussed about the structure of nephron one of the important uh, part that you have to remember is glomerulus ke jo cells hai this afferent arteriole ke smooth muscle cells and the dct cells forms a very important structure that is known as jga that is known as the juxta glomerular apparatus aur ye juxta glomerular apparatus mein there are specific cells which are known as the jg cells juxtaglomerular cells jo secrete karte hai ek important enzyme jiska naam hai renin aur renin ka pura mechanism i have discussed in one of my videos that is about ras mechanism so go through my video jisme jg apparatus and enzyme renin ka exact role pura detail mein discuss kiya hai so this entirely we have discussed the structure of nephron the structural and functional unit of kidneys Stay tuned for my further videos that's all from the painism